Japan, great time again. Hi, I'm Nathan. Welcome back to Was My Fault. As I said, time for Japan Crate. Let's open this up with my knife, as always, to its cell tape. That's the inside. I'll get it for me. Put it to one side so I can't see what's in there. We'll get trusty old booklet out so we know what things are once we try them. If we can't figure it out. A little one first. Ooh. What in the world is that? I actually have no idea. Let's see. Ah, uh, it's. I honestly have no idea what this is. Hmm. Smells quite savoury, slightly fishy, I suppose. Quite sticky. Can you see that? Slightly salty, very hard to chew. Hmm. Very, very salty and savoury. Very weird, hard, spongy texture. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what that is. These wafer light strips are made to taste like mm, Okonomiyaki, a savoury Japanese pancake like dish. It features distinct flavours of red ginger and traditional Japanese sauce. So soy sauce and ginger? It's fishy to me. I don't know. It's quite nice, a bit different, having something quite savoury. Don't always get savoury things in these. Ooh, ooh. Gummy. Oh, those, those are really, really squishy. See, it'd be gummy apples and it's a nice resealable pack always good uh, see inside there oh wow that that is your apple smell in see that mm. Mm. pure real gummy mm. Bad. These soft apple gummies are made with apple sauce from Omonori, a region known for the best apples of Japan. Enjoy the taste of the finest apples blended with a sweet hint of honey. Mm, nice, and you can smell and taste the real apple in it. It's quite unusual. Big packet. Ooh, what's this? Very nice looking packaging. Oh, these are going to be strawberry. Because you can see strawberry all over them. Now look. Wow, real strawberry smelling. Sort of puffs. Let's get one out. That's a broken one. So, as you can see, it's very kind of puffy. One. It's kind of like mm, a white chocolate strawberry flavored. Mm, sorry, coating. And so as you can see, it's just like crumbles to nothing. Hmm. That's different. Yeah. Did you know? Hinamatsuri, also known as Girl's Day, is a holiday in March that involves decorating the display with a set of dolls representing the Emperor and the Empress. These chocolates are specially packaged for the holiday and have a light, melty centre covered with strawberry chocolate cream. Mmm! Mmm! That's quite nice. Really weird texture. They're so crumbly. Hello Kitty. Ah, oh, that's a lollipop. As you see, it's a Hello Kitty. Lollipop! So I'm not going to eat that because that's just a lollipop. And that's just kind of generic. What does it say about it? Gems are not just for royalty. You can enjoy this gem shaped candy with a nice peach flavour. It also features a special ingredient that makes it easier on your teeth than regular sweets. So, not sugar then. 
Okay. Oh, ooh, that's a needle. Oh. Cream cake. Strawberry again. Mmm. Beautiful. Having cakes a lot lately. Not quite like the. That's the picture on the cover, and that's the actual reality. So. Hmm. A generic spongy cake, really. Not that. Wonderful. Strawberries and milk cream cake. Before World War II, strawberries and cake were treats reserved for the elite. Enjoy the delectable taste of soft layers of cake with a delicate strawberry cream and vanilla frosted and drizzled with chocolate. Hmm. Okay. Next up we have, have a big one. Oh, these again. That's different. All right, so caramel corn, tomato, Caramel corn, green ones. So it's green this time. Is it going to be matcha flavour? Oh god, please, I love matcha. Green tea powder, you know, like green tea, you know, ice cream, and all sorts of stuff. Be good. Come on. Why try and open it without ripping it so I can close my bees yet? I think it might well be. They're just like little green worms or something. It's like. You see. Very kind of green in colour. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm, green tea. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Matcha milk caramel corn. Matcha is a fine. Powder green tea that is often used traditional tea ceremonies. These, mm -hmm. these delicious caramel puffs are coated in a matcha milk blend with green tea sauce from Kyoto. Enjoy the Thomas matcha flavour with a modern twist in every bite. Mm. I might have to have some green tea later on that. So I've got some matcha tea if you follow me on Instagram. It was my fault underscore. Just to plug it there. I mm, often post like food and drinks and that sort of thing. And I do often have like teas and green teas and obviously coffee and some more coffee and a bit more coffee so yeah have a look on that so i'll post stuff like that all the time on there there's a big box which i'm going to leave for a minute i've got another bag of something Ooh, this looks interesting truffle Ooh, oh chocolate truffles bourbon, chocolate. Oh, oh, oh look look drinks drinks these are going to be nice I can't smell anything because they are individually wrapped. Look how many get in here. Can you see that? Loads of them. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Mmm. Let's open. Oh, proper truffle chocolates. You see that there? Well, it's going to focus. There you go. Oh, this phone's so much better. See, I'm using my Note 8 now, and the camera focuses better. Mmm. Mm. Soft and gooey on the inside, hard on the outside. Mmm. Mmm. Truffle milk ganache. Have a taste of luxury in these chocolate truffles filled with a blend of milk chocolate ganache and fragrant orange liqueur flavour. Mmm. They're very nice. I like those. Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, but good. Oh, one of these again, is it? No, it's not what I thought. I thought it was going to be one of those like corn puff things, cylindrical with the hole down the middle. We often have. Feels like that. It doesn't look like it's all like strawberry again, is it? It's going to be strawberry again. Premium, see, premium, and there's a little happy face. I can never remember that character's name, but he's there again. Oh, what's this thing? 
Ooh, that's that's not strawberry. All right, so it is what I thought it would be. Let me see. See that? Am I too close? Too close? Don't focus. Maybe not. You can see it's all textured and big old puffy. Hmm. That's quite nice and savoury. It's Amiibo, I can never pronounce things, so please excuse me. It comes in special premium edition that features Mintiaco or Pollock Roll, a dish often served with rice or cooked into a cream pasta. It's not fishy, neither sense the word, so go ahead and have a taste of this perfectly salted Nami flavour. Hmm. Nice. I quite like that. I do like the savory though. Woohoo! It's a panda. Um, it's a butter cookie. Unfortunately, it's turned into a powder. So I'm not going to open that. But as you can see, it's a cute panda cookie. If you can see that on it, focus, focus. Okay, so it's a cute panda cookie, but you can see it's. It's a dust cookie. I'm not going to open that because that's going to be incredibly messy and a bit disappointing. Never mind. Um, what's this? There appears to be some kind of samurai with his butt cheeks hanging out at the back of his costume. Very strange. I should read what that thing was in a minute. Uh, uh, um. This adorable panda shaped right, Pandora cookie. This adorable panda shaped cookie is rich with delicious butter taste. Nice snack. To compliment an afternoon tea or sprinkle over ice cream because that's pretty much all I can do. I don't know what this will be. This looks a lot more traditional, it hasn't got all the bright colors we associate with Japanese candies and sweets. So, oh god, I didn't expect there to be loads of ones. I hope I didn't lose any. There's a whole bunch in there, just let me see the box art a bit more. It does look a little bit more traditional than I said most of the ones we get. So inside is a whole bunch of these. Soft gummy. Very minimalist on the wrapping. Very, very sticky. Okay, this this thing is gooey and sticky, and it's going to take me forever to wrap. Turn off it. Okay, the traditional candy. It's been around since 1931 and features soft, chewy texture and a lightly sweet flavor. Right. Can I even get into it? I know it's been available since 1930. Hopefully, it's not the same, like, left over from there or something. This thing is impossible to unwrap because it is so sticky and gooey. Look at the trouble I'm having with it. It's just sticking to the wrapper. I may have to give this a miss because I, I can't get into it. I literally cannot. It's just. I, I can't get into it, like. So I'm going to put that to one side. And it's made a mess all over me. I'll have to try that later. So I don't know what flavour it is because I'm going to try it later. Ooh, Dracula! A gum, gumballs, I think. Door Q Gum. Door Q Art is a play on the name Dracula. A fictional character inspired by the world of mm, blah blah blah. Yeah, blah, the Emperor knew all about him. It's like the gum's blue colour fool you. After you've given it a chew, your tongue will turn a bright blood red colour. That sounds cool, but I'm going to leave that because that's cool. There's only a couple in there. I'm not going to use that now because it's just gum and it's not as interesting as something else. Anything else is just. Oh. 
What the hell is this? Some eyeball? That's a hard candy. I'm probably not going to try that as well. I don't quite know what it is, apart from like looking like an eyeball. You can see that and the packaging. Focus, focus. There we go. Right, this is a a dragon plum. This is a special dagashi or traditional Japanese sweet that comes from Okinawa. It's a Japanese plum ume inside the candy that's been pitted so you can eat it easily. And dragons, it kind of looks like a dragon plum, is it? I don't know. Kind of. So, let's see. Hmm. Interesting said I'm not going to open that because that is just a hard sweet and that's going to be a lot more difficult to eat. Ooh. Another gumball, I assume. With information on the back, which obviously I can't read. But the packaging is rather nice as always. There you go. Alright, this one is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So can these candies and discover how they change in colour and flavour. The final colour of the candy is said to tell you fortune. If you get green, you're sure to succeed in any endeavour. Yellow means you have to work a bit harder, and red means that you'll have a bit of bad luck. Hopefully, you'll receive all green. Cool. Unusual. Right. We now have a box, which I'm assuming is going to be a making kit. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to making this set. I will do a video at some point making it. But it's sushi. And I believe you have the beer as well. Let's play there. Oh, th this thing is epic. <clears throat> so it's all, all mm, like gummy fish treats with a little bit of like I think it's a vanilla sauce to dip it in rather than a soy sauce. But that's cool. I really can't wait to try that. And it comes with a drink as well, which is kind of like a, a beer, a fake beer, obviously, because you make it with water. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put that in there. Right, so all we have left oh, is the drink for this month. I'm liking my new phone. It's focusing really, really well between me and the items I'm showing. So it'll be a much better video than usual. All right, I want to have a look at this says first. Ooh, so it's a latte with a green tea. Green tea? All right. Pocha is... Hoja, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Apologies. All right, is unique to other green teas as it is roasted in a porcelain pot over charcoal rather than steam. The roasted flavors create a toasty caramel taste that pairs well with a creamy milk of a latte. So this classic drink transforms today's popular milk tea in this latte. Mm. Okay, cool. That's interesting. Give it a go. I'm not a big fan of milky drinks, especially not like tea and coffee, but I can try. Hmm. It's actually quite nice. Weird. It's got weird kind of slightly smoky aftertaste. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Interesting at first, then it's got weird aftertaste. I'm not sure that's a drink that I'd really enjoy to be honest. But hmm. That's quite interesting. So there we go. There is the month sheet. If you can see that, you see it all. That tells you everything in it. And oh, why can't I ever get the Sugo crate? See, that's the crate they give away to one lucky subscriber. And they never win anything. It would be nice to win that, I must admit. That would be cool. Oh well, never mind. It would be good. Mm. Okay, well, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. It's Another interesting box. A lot of different things this month, which is quite good. Instead of some of the generic ones like the Black Thunder chocolate, we tend to get a lot of. And some of the other stuff, there's been some different bits and pieces, which is nice. I do like trying new things. No crisps, apart from really the caramel corn, which I wouldn't really call a crisp as such. But those are quite nice because they're savoury for a change. Like, as in a matcha instead of like just generic flavour, a bit different. So that's kind of cool enjoying that so thanks all for watching please press the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't been here before i do post daily videos mainly being gaming but i do post things like vlogs reviews unboxings and that sort of thing as well so now stick around maybe there'll be something you like maybe not but give it a try anyway you never know thanks again for watching 
See you again soon. Bye-bye.